In New York State, what is a legally acceptable method for a notary public to verify the identity of a signer who lacks a valid photo ID? Now the answer to this question can be found at section 182.5 of the Notary Public License Law entitled Satisfactory Evidence of Identity. And it states in subsection B, for any individual signing a document who physically appears before a notary public, satisfactory evidence of identity requires identity verification through, and what's important for the purpose of our question, I'm going to jump to subsection 1, subsection II, which states that it must contain the photographic image of the bearer. Also important for the purpose of our question is subsection 3, which is another method of satisfactory evidence of identity, stating that the attestation by the notary that the individual is personally known to them would also work. And finally, subsection 5 states, another method is the oath or affirmation of two witnesses, and this is key, who know the individual personally. Now, armed with all this information, let's look back at our four choices to determine our solution. Choice A states, accepting the sworn statement of two credible witnesses who each provide valid photo ID. Now this is tricky because it does seem to be correct on its face. However, it's missing one crucial ingredient. That is, that the witnesses are stating that they know the individual personally. Because choice A does not state this, we cannot make that assumption. And therefore, this would be incomplete and not the solution to our question. Choice B states, accepting a utility bill as proof of identity. Again, as we read before, the proof of identity must contain a photographic image of the bearer. Because a utility bill does not contain a photographic image of the bearer, this too is not satisfactory evidence of identity and is not our solution. Choice C states, relying on the notary's personal knowledge of the signer. Indeed, as we read earlier, this is one of the options that would satisfy evidence of identity, and therefore this seems to be our solution. But let's look at choice D just to be certain. Choice D states, having the signer's attorney vouch for their identity. Now, while this sounds impressive, that is not one of the methods that we read from from section 182.5 earlier. Therefore, choice D is not our solution either. That leaves choice C, relying on the notary's personal knowledge of the signer as our solution.